Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this oozing Nutella and Oreo mud cake. I'll be making the cake from scratch, so I have butter, chocolate, water, a little bit of coffee, and some flavoring in a saucepan. The recipe for this will be in the description box below. You could add in a couple of tablespoons of Nutella, but I've added, added in here some hazelnut flavoring. Pop it over medium heat on your stove and give it a mix through until everything has melted and is nicely combined and silky. You can tell when there's no butter or um, chocolate left over. Turn off your heat and gently pour in your sugar, stirring constantly. And once that's melted through, pop in your oil and your milk. I transferred mine into a larger bowl because the saucepan was a little bit too small. Make sure it's cooled down enough so that when you add your eggs it doesn't cook them through. Whisk the eggs together and whisk it through the whole batter until they've disappeared. And then gently pour this into your standing mixer, which has all of my dry ingredients in there already. You want to make sure to mix that through completely, but you don't want to over mix or you'll end up with a really dense cake. Or a really flat cake, it won't um, kind of expand as well. Pour your batter into your prepared cake tins. Mine have been oiled with some oil spray and then dusted with um, flour to make sure it doesn't stick. Fill it in three quarters of the way and then cover your cake tins completely with aluminium foil. I do this when I bake my cakes and it creates a much nicer, um, less domed shape and it also helps to maintain the moisture in the cake. My cakes have been resting for a good um, overnight and I'm leveled off the top and I'm cutting it in half. I did this for both cakes. With two of the layers, cut out a hole in the center. So I've just used a cookie cutter and I'm giving it a twist so I don't break the ring on the outside. Just makes it easier to release the cookie cutter if you give it a twist. Mark where it is that you want to cut on the second side. I've laid my cake on top so that I know whereabouts the exact middle will be. Then to create our frosting, I have Oreo frosting with my hybrid buttercream, added in some Oreo crumbs I pulverized in a food processor, add in a little bit of milk if it goes a bit hard, and for the other frosting I have Nutella frosting, and that's also just been added into my hybrid buttercream. If it starts to seize like it has there, just add in a little bit of milk to be, uh, help it to become silky smooth again. I'm attaching my 6 inch cake that has not got a hole in it right in the center of a 10 inch cake board. Apply your frosting as per usual. And I've also got some Oreo cookie crumbs I'm adding on top as well. To make sure there's some buttercream touching the top layer, I've added some of that Oreo frosting and then a layer of cake with a hole right on top of that one. And then continue frosting as per normal. You'll also want to frost the inside of the hole, and that way there's a barrier between the liquid Nutella that we're going to add in there and the cake. If the cake were to be exposed to that Nutella completely, um, it could soften out the sponge, and that might cause your cake to become lopsided or soften out. So make sure that you don't skip that crumb coat step in the middle. And then the very top layer will be the layer with um, no hole in it again. To create the Nutella filling, I've added a non-strong tasting oil like vegetable oil or canola oil into some Nutella. How much you add depends on how much Nutella you're adding, but you basically want the consistency to look like this. Pop it into the center until it reaches right at the top. And I've chilled my cake a little bit before this step. Add some buttercream again just to make sure that top cake sticks and then create your crumb coat. I've done this with my Oreo frosting, it doesn't really matter which one you choose really. And then continue your crumb coat as per normal. Take a bench scraper and just clear off the outside of the cake and bring that lip of frosting to the center. Before we put our last layer of frosting on, pop it into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm scoring a line outside just to guide where I'm piping my frosting. 
it was very much just a guide. <laughs> I might have kind of worked outside it, but that's okay. I've done two lines of my Oreo frosting, two lines of the Nutella frosting, and continued this pattern up the cake. If you guys are enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload a new video every Tuesday. I'm adding some Oreo frosting at the very top, meeting it with the piped frosting at the side, making sure it's nice and flat, and then taking my bench scraper and starting to smooth down the frosting. Every time I go around, maybe twice around the cake, I take off the frosting that is on my bench scraper, just to make for a neater finish. And then go over if you have any holes. I've gone over with my spatula. Eh, not a great idea. Try to use a piping bag because you can miss and contaminate the other layers. So a piping bag would have been best for that section. Continue to clear it off until it's immaculate on the outside, hasn't got any pockets. And then clean up the top. I've run my spatula on the cake board just to clean up any loose frosting. And then taking some more of that Nutella and oil mixture that's in the piping bag and I'm starting at the center and turning my turntable until my Nutella reaches about a centimeter or so away from the edge of the cake. At this point you can start dripping your drips. You can make some long, some short. All depends on how long you keep that piping bag at the edge um, pushing out the Nutella. Quick swipes will create shorter drips. Give your cake a bit of a shake and this helps to settle the Nutella that's at the top. Right now you can see all the lines where the piping happened. Just keep giving it a bit of a shake until they disappear. Pop that into your freezer to set. And in the meantime, I'm popping some frosting into one side of a piping bag and my other frosting on the other side with a 6B tip. Create dolloped decorations on the top of your cake. I'm just doing the swirl pattern, nice and easy. And working directly opposite of the last one that I piped, that just helps you to position them with um, even space between. You can pop on any added decoration. I have some Ferrero Rochers and the Oreo cookies. And you're done. create a Nutella and Oreo mud cake with a surprise center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we upload a new video every Tuesday. I'm gonna cut into this baby and we're gonna see how well that ooze effect works, hey? Who's nervous? I know I am. Ooh, and slice number one. Oh, how nice. I seriously don't know what I was thinking when I cut this slice. This is like enough for three people, literally. But I will finish it because it is Nutella and Oreo and you cannot go wrong. So thanks guys for watching and I will catch you guys next week.